Yo, what is going on guys? In this video, I'm gonna be showing you guys how to grow your YouTube channel just like I did. So as you can see, I have gained a lot of subs for the past few days and the past few weeks. And in this video, I'm gonna show you every single step that I used to grow my YouTube channel. So it's very important that you watch the entire video since you do not want to miss out on any of the tips I'm about to show you since every single tip will be very valuable in growing your YouTube channel. So please go ahead and don't skip out on uh, any parts of the video. Just go ahead and watch the entire video so that you learn everything uh, so that you have higher chances of growing your own channel. So with that having said, let's get into the video. My first tip is to actually clean up your YouTube channel. When I say clean up, I mean remove old videos that are no longer relevant or have very bad quality. So let's say that your latest video is really good quality and your viewers actually uh, think about subscribing after seeing that video. But once they go to your channel and scroll down a bit, they see your old videos that are really bad and that doesn't have any quality at all. And if they watch the, that video or those videos, then they're actually less likely to hit subscribe and be a loyal follower to your page. So my tip is to actually delete all the old videos or all videos that don't, that don't have good quality. Um, and actually, if you don't want to delete them, uh, if you want them for like, you know, in a few years, you want to see where you've been at, then you can actually go ahead and private them or unlist them. That way only you will be able to see them or anyone with the link and that way they will never get deleted and you'll always have them on your YouTube channel. So that's my first tip, clean up your videos, clean up your YouTube channel, make your channel look professional. My second tip is to only create and post highly watchable content. So as you know on YouTube, views is actually less important than watch duration or watch time. Um, you want your, vid your viewers to watch your entire video, just as I said in the beginning of my video, uh, you, or not the entire video, but a large portion of it. So let's say 50 to 60%, that's a good percentage of the entire video that you want your viewers to watch, at least that. But if you, like, if you are below 50%, then you're actually less likely to get suggested on YouTube, and suggestions will actually bring a view since that's what uh, shows up. Like, it makes your video show up on people's homepage, and that's how they find your video. So like there are two ways people can find your videos, either they search for them or they get recommended, the videos get recommended to them. And if your videos get recommended to people, then you'll get a lot of views on those videos. And I actually speak from experience since I had a few videos uh, get recommended and when you go to analytics and check your uh, views for the last 60 minutes, then you'll see that if your views are very high, then you're likely recommended. You can actually see where the traffic is coming from. And if you're recommended or suggested, it's the same thing, then it will say suggested videos. And that's how you know that you got uh, recommended or suggested by YouTube. How do you post highly watchable content? Well, you want to encourage your viewer to watch uh, a very large portion of your video. So you want to never uh, lose the, the viewer's attention. So you always have to do something. Don't just be quiet for a whole minute, since that will always guarantee your viewer to click away. So always try to make them stay on your video for as long as possible, since that will help your ranking and your recommendation. My third tip is actually to make sure that your videos are under 5 minutes. And the reason is that if your videos are or longer than 5 minutes, then your viewers aren't likely to watch the entire video, since 10 minutes is a long time, and if your content isn't that great, I mean if it's decent, then it's, it's a very low possibility that your viewers or most of your viewers will watch the entire video. So when you're a small YouTuber, I always recommend uh, people to um, limit their videos to five minutes since that way you're you're actually more likely to get good watch time and as I said before if you get good watch time you're very likely you're a lot more likely to uh, grow that vid video and in turn grow your channel so uh, if you're a new youtuber go ahead and make your videos below five minutes or if you actually have really, really good content, then you can make them longer, but your watch duration, your average watch duration may suffer. 
Another tip I have for you guys is to put all of your videos or all of your good videos into one playlist. Now, uh, having all your videos in one playlist will cause viewers to not only watch one of your videos, but to watch them all, or a, a lot more than just one video. Uh, since if you have them in a playlist, then autoplay is automatically on, which means that when they watch one video, the other video will start playing almost right away. And if they don't click away, uh, and they watch the entire playlist, then YouTube will know that viewers actually like your content since they're watching more of them. So, if you're getting like the same amount of views, the same viewers on every single video in that playlist, you're actually a lot more likely to get prioritized by YouTube since they see that the viewers actually like your content. And if they do like your content, if they are engaging, then you're actually more likely to get suggested as I said before. And that will in turn help you gain subscribers. And another tip is to create custom human thumbnails. Now this is very important as you can see by this video it has a pretty flashy thumbnail that made you more likely to click on this video. And the reason I made that is because you get more views, you get more clicks and that's what it's all about. It's about views and it's about watch time. So you need to create a human thumbnail. And it's actually better when you have a, a custom thumbnail than just a random image from the video since YouTube knows that you actually put uh, time into the video. And when you put time into the video YouTube rewards you. So have a good thumbnail that will cause more viewers to click on your video to give you that watch time since that will really really help your video and your subscriber amount grow quickly. Another tip is to post often and consistently. Now, uh, if you want loyal subscribers, if you want subscribers that will watch most of your videos, then you'll have to provide content every now and then. You can't just provide one video a week, or maybe you can, but not one video a month. Since people will actually forget about your channel, and they might even unsubscribe when they see that you upload a new video, since they don't even know who you are, or why they're sub to you. So you should upload maybe one or every two or three days uh, to keep your viewers at your page uh, and keep them loyal so that they don't unsubscribe and so that they just keep on watching your view uh, videos since subscribers are actually the best people to have to watch your videos since subscribers sub for a reason. They sub because they want more content from you. And subscribers are actually more likely to watch a large portion of the video than just random people that got the video suggested or people that searched up your video. So it's very important to keep your subscribers engaging so that they watch more of your videos. Another tip for you guys is to optimize your YouTube channel for search. So. Uh, if you want to actually pop up on the YouTube search, you should go into your advanced settings on YouTube and go ahead and add custom uh, keywords, preferably your channel name, because that will almost guarantee that your channel will pop up when people search for your channel. Since if you don't do that, then maybe random videos will pop up and people won't be able to find your channel. And it's very important that people can find your channel since that's how they come back to your channel after watching a few videos if they didn't click subscribe already. So definitely go ahead and add some keywords that will help in your channel's ranking. My absolute last tip is to ask your viewers to subscribe. Now this is very important because you have to actively remind people or your viewers to subscribe to you since they don't always think about it. Have you seen a single YouTube video by a large YouTuber that don't ask you to subscribe at the end of the video or the start? It's almost impossible to find such a video and that's because it actually works. That's how they get more subs. Because when you ask someone to subscribe to you, then they'll have to actively uh, accept or deny that request. So if you don't ask, then they don't have to do anything and they will just forget about subscribing to your channel. So definitely ask them every time you end your video since it will always, or not always, but most of the time it will help you uh, get your viewers to actually subscribe to your channel and watch more videos from you in the future. So that's my tips for you guys. If this video was helpful to you, please go ahead and leave a like and subscribe to this channel and I'll see you guys in the next video.